Kurokuma is glad to have someone like my singles writer Dai Usami to have boring conversations with. Say what? Usami, boring conversations? It's it's more likely than you think, actually. Climbing high to the top, to 4,000 to the top. A special episode of. The Dong on Rampa. Hunger Games. And yes. <laughs> 4,000! <laughs> which is a ton, to be completely honest. Which is astounding, mind blowing. And quite frankly, awesome. That's all I can say about that. Well, that's not all I can say about that. I can say thank you. Because that's what I have to say. 100%. From the bottom of my heart. But that means we gotta do something special. And that special thing that we're gonna do is... We're going... You can... You, you, if, you, if you are a regular viewer... You know that there's something a little bit strange about that. <laughs> Through a mistake in preseason, I found out that I could manipulate the items however which way I wanted. So for this one, the first special to be in this simulator, we're giving everybody the whole arsenal. We're going fully loaded to see who can best use every item in this simulator. And it's also a battle between the cast again. Because that's just, that's, that's kind of how we do it every time. So let me introduce everybody who's here. You already know who everybody's here, but I'm going to tell you anyway. For Danganronpa 1, we have Makoto, Hina, Togami, Celeste, Chihiro, Hifumi, Junko, Taka, Kyoko, Leon, Mondo, Mukuro, Sakura, Freaking Sayaka, Toko, Hiro, and just first of all, I'm just, just stop for it, just, just stop for a quick second. Look at all, every, it still astounds me. And I'm gonna ask you guys another question. But we're gonna keep going, I'm not gonna dilly and dally. Dangarapa 2, we have Hajime, Akane, Fatsugami, Chiaki, Fuyiko, Gundam, Crazy Yoko, Ibuki, Kazuichi, Mahiru, Mika, Nagito, Nakamaru, Echo, Sonya, Teru Teru, and Zuru. Dangarpa V3, we have Shuichi, Himiko, Maki, Rantaro, Kayede, Ryoma, Kurumi, Heiji, Tenko, Kori in the house, Mu, Gonta, Kokichi, Kaito, Samugi, and Kibo Ultra Despair Girls. With Komaru, Jack, Jitaro, Katoka, Masaru, Monika, Nagisa, Haiji, Hiroko, Taichi, Yuta, and we got Le Bears. We even have Le Bears celebrating the day 4000 with Monokuma Usami. Shirakuma, Kurakuma, Monadam, Monokid, Monophony, Monosuke, Monotaro, and of course, future side Dong Rapa 3, Chisa, Daisaku, the Great Yozu, Juza, Tengen, Kizakura, Munakata, Ruruka, Mitarai, Seiko, Izayoi, and Maya, and what is bound to be one of the most chaotic versions of this simulator that we've ever seen and i will tell you just for testing purposes i went through it to make sure that even though those items were just there they weren't just like physically getting the first one and not using any of the rest of them they use all of them they sure do and every time i've simulated this round one has been a show so i'm gonna ask you guys a couple things go ahead pick Give me your- pick five. Pick five. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Give me your- give me the top five. Who do you got? But also tell me how many people do you think will lose in round one? 
because on simulation I have seen between 20 and 34, which is crazy for this simulator. So, let me know then. I'm gonna make no picks right yet. I guess I'd. Okay, so first of all, a couple things while you make those picks. The wheel, we're not spinning. We're not gonna spin. Because <laughs> this, this episode kind of exists outside of the spectrum of the season. Um, which means we're also not doing. Solely because of that, we're not doing secret achievements either. I guess it is a. We could spin the wheel. We're not doing secret achievements solely because, um. Some of them have to do with, like, getting these items, so we're not, we're not gonna, <laughs> not gonna, we're not gonna do it for this one. So we'll be back and play next week. Um, or I guess if this is coming out, it depends on when this is. It'll come out next single, they'll be back next single episode. <laughs> I can't. I cannot spin the wheel. I know why I can't spin the wheel. I know why, because <laughs> I don't know when this is coming out. I can make an executive decision. Because I want this out Wednesday. Here's, here's where I am <laughs> in the recording process. I have recorded Thursdays and Fridays Hunger Games. And now I'm recording this one. So if this comes out Wednesday... Clearly, I can't spin the wheel right now, because you'll know if or if it doesn't hit <laughs> this coming week. But if I record it on Sunday, or release it Sunday, let's release it Sunday. Let's have fun. Spur of the moment decision. Recording in three, two. Actually, now. And that is 15%. Because Yuta and Chisa are both here. So I got no qualms again to this. This is coming out Sunday now. You knew, you know, you already know it didn't hit. <laughs> you know it's a 15 now. Let's go ahead and do it. Why not? It's a big, it's 4,000. That's a big number. I'm here for that energy. Let's see if we can get a little chaotic energy in here. Is it going to be a championship match? Oh my gosh. Chaotic energy was real close. Real close. So no it won't. <laughs> I'll make my picks now. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's been close before. I don't know if it's ever been exactly that close. I got an Ultra Dispergo sweep. And let me tell you how it's gonna be. Also, the winner of this one, you know, the, the deal. The, they also go to the singles finale. That's why I was like, we don't need to spin the wheel. They're going to the singles finale. Give me, um... Give me Nagisa for first. I can't even find Ultra Spurgos, this list is so long. Give me Nagisa for first. Give me Taichi for second. Give me Genocide Jack for third. I usually give you more picks, but I'm just gonna pick my solid three. We're gonna go, we're gonna get on with this, because... I'm, I'm just, I'm... <laughs> it was so close! I'm just in awe. I'm just in awe. But, that... That chaos that just happened is a prelude, is a prelude to the chaos that you're about to see. Are you ready? You're not ready. I'm telling you right now, you're not ready. There's big sticks, there's pitchforks, there's swords, axes, handguns, shotguns, grenades, slingshots, bows, flamethrowers, rocket launchers, laser guns, magic wands, ancient scepters, pet wolves, pet tigers, pet turtles, wish rings, oh my! As we start round one, it's a big fight feel. And as you can see, there's already, oh my gosh, look who's out first. You're lucky this didn't hit my boy. <laughs> There are podiums, tributes, Danganronpa characters standing at each of them as they step off, and the horns they dust sound, and the horns go, and the horns go, sound, the 
horns. Fantastic. Ibuki plays fetch with her pet tiger, Kaede sticks her pet wolf on Yuta. Yuta gets torn to shreds by the ravenous animal. If that wheel hit Yuta, it would have been an immediate new champ alert. That's crazy. Chihiro asks if Kyoko's found anything useful, and then look who's out next! Nagito and Chisa duel it out, guns drawn, two shots are fired, Chisa falls over dead. Nagito and Chisa, Chisa, gone. The first two people out were your. This is this is the chaos. This is the chaos that we're talking about. We're the champ and the agent of chaos. Makoto waves his magic wand around, sending sparkles everywhere. Tenko juggles with a grenade, but kind of wanting to use it. Mitsurai swooshes the air with a sword. Teru Teru murders Hina before Togami can react. There's nothing Togami can do. Izioi and Kaito duel it out, guns drawn. Two shots are fired. Izioi falls over dead. Kori and Katoko have a merciless magic wand duel with their ancient scepters. Sparks, sparks and bolts fly every which way until both opponents suddenly bulge out and explode in a puff of acrid smoke. Kokichi hopes to get everyone out of here. Well, they're still alive, all of them, so you're doing a pretty good job, Ruka. Tries to get others to notice her Mondo wasn't looking and fell right off of a cliff. Poor boy, Toko lobs her pitchfork at Nekamaru, killing him instantly. Armed with his flamethrower, Shuichi torches Daisaku to a crisp. You deserve better than that, Daisaku. Monotaro. Seems unshaken by any of this. Kibo reloads his shotgun just in case Ryoma's pet wolf licks his cheek. Oh, that's precious. Monophony gathers her ammo for her, sl uh, her slingshot. I was gonna say, where did you get that? They have everything. <laughs> Himiko creeps up behind Junko and shoots her point blank with her shotgun. Monica calls Arcane Fury down on Kaede Day, his ancient scepter beaming within an rage. Kaede burst, combust even, into a thousand fiery butterflies in the sky. I can go twice as high. Gundam. Attempts to kill Monodam, but Monophony intervenes to protect him. Unfortunately, Monophony dies in the attempt, so you can't believe that Nagito has killed someone. Hiroko gestures angrily towards both Kokichi and Maki with her magic wand. It seems some of their major organs switched as Kokichi inheriting Maki's brain stem and vice versa, they both topple over. Unalive, Chisa. Her pet wolf lets out a sad howl in an act of betrayal. Monokuma and Shirakuma team up and murder Monotaro. Monokuma, that's your son. How could you? How could you, Nagisa, as you toss a live grenade at a group of enemies? Great Gozu, Tengen, and Ruka are caught in the explosion and are blown to smithereens. That, as I've tested this, is the most dangerous thing. Having everyone have a grenade? For some reason, they've just been popping off. The grenade and the rocket launcher? They pop off so often. And these games haven't been too long because of it. And you will see. <laughs> you will see. <laughs> Mikan and Fuyugo conspire against Azuru. Monadam bludgeons Hiroko with a big stick. Rest in peace. And there's... Speaking of! Mukuro fires a rocket at a group of enemies. Tinko and Miu are caught in the explosion and are absolutely blown to bits. Rantaro thanks Kaito for being there for him. Yuta's pet turtle is looking for her owner, but can't find him. Azuru finds himself face to face with Sakura, shoots her dead with his gun. Well, yeah, Azuru. Crazy Yoko isn't sure whether to cry, laugh, or tear her out. Kyoko loves the way that that rocket launcher feels on her shoulder. Kaito can't stop flying over Angie. Fuyuko fires his shotgun at Shirakuma, but misses. I don't know how you missed that, Fuyuhiko. Hiro seems to find Leon's presence soothing. Kizakura uses shotgun to pelt. I'm sorry, a slingshot to pelt Togami with rocks, which is more annoying than anything, really. And of course, this happens a lot, too. With the flick of the ancient scepter, Seiko turns Shirakuma into a sheep. Haiji. Tosses a live grenade at a group of enemies. Ibuki and Mikan are caught in the explosion. <sighs> Keep trying to tell you guys. <clears throat> and that's former Band-Aid together. Together once again in that explosion. They were probably just reminiscing about the good times. About being the only two-time tag team champions. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget about that. <laughs> Jotaro just wanted to end already. Masaru finds a dap pursuit. Puts it on. It's quite fetching. Komaru. Practices pulling back that bowstring. Samugi aims her handgun in the distance. Celeste challenges Monica to a duel. Surprisingly, Monica bites the dust. Kazuichi tries to make a wish, of course. That wish ring. The first wish of the game. Rancid smoke. Has to toss it aside. Togami. Starts sobbing uncontrollably. Genocide Jack and Kibo joyfully incinerate each other with their flamethrowers. When the fire dies down, there's not much left of them. Well, I expect that from Genocide Jack, but what kind of crazy protocol did Mew install into you, Kibo? Angie really wants to use her flamethrower. Do you after what just happened? <laughs> Do you? 
Mako can't take her eyes off of Kazuichi trying to join. You trying to join the entourage too? We'll see about that. Akane goes acts crazy, chopping Kurumi and Angie to bits. Mahiru ponders about how best to use her wish ring. Juzo shakes up his magic wand. But it seems to use up the last of its magic, even though the game has just started. The star tip has grown dull. He got a, He must have purchased a used one before the game began. Juzo tosses it aside. Hajime fires an arrow at Taichi, but misses. Shirakuma is a sheep and boss softly. Fatsogami fires a rocket at Taka, who gets absolutely blown to smithereens. Maya's thinking of plans to get out of here. Taka's pet turtle is looking for her owner, but she can't find him, probably because his, her owner is all over the place, because he got blown to bits to smithereens. Gonta admires Shuichi's leadership. Manasuke and Manakuma team up and ambush Chiaki, slaughtering her. Oh no, Usami keeps trying to tell a joke, but it always falls flat. Munakata turns Samugi into a sheep. Taichi sticks his foot turtle on Mitarai. Saika finds some leather scraps and is now a cave idol. Hafumi twiddles his thumbs. Kurukuma decides to put Samugi out of her sheepy misery. Leon pets Shirakuma, who is a sheep. And we lost 33. That is the chaos that happens when every single item is in play. And so, a Claire de Lune for Yuta, Chisa, Hina, Izayoi, Cory in the House, Katoko, Mondo, Nakamaru, Daisaku, Junko, Kaede, Monofuni, Kokiji, Maki, Manataro, Great Gozu, Tengen, Ruruka, Hiroko, Tenko, Mew, Sakura, Ibuki, Mikan, Monica, Kibo, Genocide Jack, Kurumi, Angie, Taka, Chiaki, Mitarai, Samugi. I would like to say, in a single day, that was almost half of the field. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. 48 remain, which is almost, it's slightly bigger than the size of the game that we had on Friday. Ever so slightly. But I tell you what, it'll go quicker. Because everyone's wildin'. All sorts of items, all sorts of chaos, you've experienced it firsthand now. And thus, let's continue on with it to the next round to see. Oh yeah, they're still popping off. Round two. Kyoko's really worried about Togami. You should be worried about yourself. <laughs> Freaking Saika shoots several white hot holes in Mahiru's body using her laser gun. I'm sorry, Mahiru, that's the worst way to go. By Saika's hands, not by laser gun. Going out by laser gun, pretty cool. Laser gun with Saika. Makoto's ready to use his axe if he has to. Fuyiko and Togami get into an argument over who should be in charge. Monosuke waves his big stick around menacingly. Teru, Teru hits on Fat Togami, but Fat Togami finds that suspicious. Do you? Because if there's anyone in this game who I expect to do that, it's that man's. Celeste artfully cleaves through Kazuichi and Crazy Yoko in one fell swoop, a former champion of champions and a former tag team champion, Leon. Wishes for some comic books. His wish ring shimmers, and now that man has comic books, Kaito spots something shiny in the distance. Komaru polishes her ancient scepter. Shuichi feels horrible for veiling V3. Well, yeah, now some of them have perished. In fact, a lot of them have perished. In fact, next time we'll go and peek at how many are left. Nagito skewers Ryoma and Himiko with his pitchforks because V3's really perishing now. Holy heck. Kurukuma is glad to have someone like my singles writer, Dai Usami, to have boring conversations with. <laughs> What? Usami, boring conversations? It's it's more likely than you think, actually. Jitaro is on the verge of snapping. Monica's gone. Monica spots Hajime in the distance, draws his bow, his arrow flies off true. This this event is coded wrong, but we're gonna let it fly. And pierces Hajime's chest, because I know I've coded wrong. <laughs> I've coded events wrong <laughs> in the other simulator. <laughs> but we just walk right through it. Hajime's gone. Sonya remembers how much she misses Crazy Yoko, who just perished, and sobs quietly. Ryoma's gone, but his pet tiger rests by his remains, skewered, by the way. Batsugami eats something he shouldn't have and dies of horrible stomach pains. Maybe Kyoko was right to worry about you earlier. <laughs> Maybe you were just hungry. Monadam shoots his laser gun, a laser gun at Kyoko. Good thing he can't aim. Got lucky. Kokichi. His pet wolf lets out a sad howl. Oh. 
Juzo is determined to survive this thing. Pekko and Sonya's fingers touched by accidentally they both blush a little bit. Rantaro hopes he doesn't have to harm anyone. Nakisa ambushes Sonya and murders her. Hiro wishes he wasn't here. His wish ring shimmers for a second and then nobody seems to remember Hiro even existed. How many people are in the first game? Not a hero, apparently not. Gundam mopes around uselessly. Masaru chops Akane to bits with his axe. Toko watches her pet turtle ambling around. It's truly adorable. And here we are again. You are popping off with this rocket launcher and you know what? It makes sense given your splash art. Mukuro fires a rocket at a group of enemies. Seiko, Kizakura, and Juzo are caught in the explosion and are blown to bits. Murakata tries to kill Usami, but my singles ride or die, Usami, retaliates, takes him out instead. Fumi does his best to avoid freaking Sayaka. I do that every day. I respect that, Hifumi. Haiji snaps and is now frenzied. Everyone should be in in fear, in danger. Taichi artfully slices Shuichi in two with his sword. V3 is struggling. Fatsugami finds a lovely bikini, puts it on, it's quite revealing. I bet it is, I bet it's lovely. The Great Gozu... <gasps> the Great Gozu's pet tiger rests on her owner's remains. Maya wishes she could see Tengen again one more time. Her wish ring shimmers for a second and then it's a miracle. Tengen came back to life and that's something that can happen when every single person has a wish ring. So also keep that in mind. The numbers that we have left could flip-flop all over the place. Usami, even in the final few, keep that in mind. Even when we're at true saving grace picks, keep that in mind. And it's especially true because there are teams. Usami feels unstoppable with her laser gun. Masaru is gone. Shirakuma is a sheep and doesn't do much. Jiro is now the smallest but mightiest knight of them all. Gonta <coughs> doesn't really understand what's happening. Monokuma sticks his pet tiger on Pekko. Pekko gets mauled by the ravenous animal. And Azuru sets down a trap. We lost quite a few more, but we also gained Tengen back, which is, yay! <laughs> but we're down to 33. Almost a standard size game, to be completely honest. But for right now, it's just a Claire de Lune 4. Mahiru. Kazuichi. Crazy Hiyoko. Ryoma. Himiko. Hajime. Togami. Sonya. Hiro. Akane. Seiko. Kizakura, Juzo, Munakata, Shuichi, Peko. And now, we will take a peek. Scrolling all the way up and taking a peek. This is going to be messy. Yeah, it's going to look super messy. <laughs> <clears throat> so the bears, we still have Monokuma, Usami, Shirakuma, Kurakuma, Monadam, Monokid, Monosuke, Monosuke. For V3, we still have Rantaro, uh, Gonta, Kaito, they're down to three. Three. That's terrible. Danganronpa 2 has Fatogami, Fuihiko, Gundam, Nagito, Teru Teru, and Azuru. Twice as many, they have six. Ultra Spurgos has Komaru, Jotaro, Masaru, Nagisa, Haiji, and Taichi. That's another six. Danganronpa 3 has... Uh... Tengen. And... Maya. They're doing the worst. <clears throat> and Danganronpa 1 has Makoto. Celeste. Chihiro. Hifumi. Kyoko. Leon. Mukuro. Sayaka. And Toko. They're doing the best. And thus... You know everybody who's left. So we can go. We still got 33 to get through. And I say that like, it's gonna take a while, but it's not. We'll click the next round and I will show you why it's not gonna take a while. Because people are still dropping like flies at the start of round 3. Kibo's gone, that pet turtle can't find her owner. Shirakuma is a sheep and wanders off too far, becoming food for the wild beast. Teru Teru tries to kill Chihiro, but the knight's armor is doing work. Ooh, the the Hafumi. <laughs> Not for whom <laughs> Brain, thank you. Plays fetch with his pet tiger. Maya gets caught in one of Azuru's traps. Now all can do is hope to be freed. Uh, you might get freed. In fact, you do get freed as Kyoko wants to be hopeful. Leon wishes for Celeste to have a shorter nose. Much to Celeste's surprise. Leon's wish ring seems happy to comply. Kaito feels sorry for Maya. Frees her from the trap. Toko wishes Teru Teru would disappear. Her wish ring shimmers for a second and then nobody seems to remember Teru Teru even existed. They haven't existed at all. 
Teru Teru? Small Chef? I don't even remember an Ultimate Chef. Mm, I can't recall. Monokuma. Wonders how far he could throw his pitchfork. Chihiro, small and mighty knight and all, tries to kill Gonta, but Kaito intervenes just in time. He's like, we gotta save the few folk that we have left. Retaliates. Kills Chihiro instead to protect Gonta. Masaru feels strong enough to handle anything. Taichi wishes he could go home. Armed with his flamethrower, modern damn torches, Celeste and Leon to a crisp. I'm always secretly hoping for Celeste, but it didn't happen today. Monica's gone. Nagisa six his pet wolf on Maya. Maya gets torn to shreds by the ravenous animal. Kurumi's also gone. But to be fair, potentially nobody's gone forever. <laughs> Mukuro and Nagito have a merciless magic wand duel. This goes on until both of them explode in a splash of green. Usami feels horrible for what she did. Tengen feels himself unsure of what happened. Guess he's alive again, but not for long. <laughs> As Azuru and Tengen duel it out, guns drawn. Two shots are fired and they both fall over dead. I guess that's a tie. Kokichi's pet tiger is so sad by the perishing, perished, uh, perishing, perish, perishness of uh, Kokichi. Fatagami feels protected by his wealth. Fuhiko feels like Gundam is slowing him down, and Fuhiko got rid of Gundam, how could you? That's my boy. I'll remember this, Fuhiko. Freaking Sayaka's wearing leather scraps. It's a sight to behold. If Sayaka wins this episode's cancelled. <laughs> Dataro gestures angrily towards Toko with his magic wand. Toko only has time to feel her blood vessels turn to spaghetti before she topples over. Kamaro's being adorable as always. Ryoma. It's all oh, Ryoma's pet wolf lets out a sad howl. This is I didn't this, this might be the saddest event to me. Rantaro waves his magic wand, sending sparkles everywhere. That man is the wish king, don't forget. He might have an ocarina now, but he knows how to make a good wish, even with a magic wand. He's still got a wish ring too. Gonta. Pets his uh, teaches his pet wolf a trick. Oh, that's actually <laughs> Gonta and the pet wolf makes a lot of sense. Kurukuma fires his gun at Kyoko but misses. Kyoko's got these Matrix-like dodges today, oh my gosh. Monosuke tosses a live grenade at Fuhiko, who's blown to smithereens Junko. Rides with the maggots. Monokid can't wait to kill again. Haiji looks for his next victim, Taka's gone, and Makoto wishes for a shorter nose. And he gets it. And it's been three rounds? I want you to take that, breathe that in, it's been three rounds? And we're at your final 20, we've already lost 61 over the course of... Three rounds. I'm gonna give you guys this quick clarity loop for Shirakuma, Teru Teru, Chihiro, Celeste, Leon, Maya, Nagito, Mukuro, Izuru, Tengen, Gundam, Toko, Fuyahiko. 20 remain, 10 more, until you're saving Grace Picks. I'm not gonna look at the details. You guys see who's left, for right now. <laughs> With the way that everyone has items, this could, we could get your saving Grace Picks next round. It's starting to settle down, and it usually does start to settle down. But this, having everyone have every item makes this pretty much just as chaotic as the Thursday Simulator. Which I didn't think I'd ever say about this simulator. But it's been an experience and we have to keep experiencing it. Because we got to get a winner. And to find out who that'll be, we got to click next round. And to whom my singles rider die, no. At the start of round four, Monokuma can't take it anymore and snaps Usami's neck. How could you? I thought that was everybody's homie. Kamaru juggles with her grenade, kind of wanting to use it. Gonta, can't believe that Kaito has killed someone. He did it for you though, Gonta. He did it for you. I guess you both, I guess you, you both, okay, you both did it at some point, <laughs> so you shouldn't be too confused. I guess you, you're, you, okay, we'll just keep, Kyoko swooshes the air with her sword. Fatogami kills Monodan before Kurakuma can react, there's nothing Kurakuma can do. Monotaro is writhing with maggots. I don't know why maggots are so attracted to, uh, maybe stuffed animal and robotic parts, or maybe it's a scarf, I don't know. But, Master watches the blood off of his dapper suit. Yuta. Is lifeless. He is perished. Taichi reloads his shotgun just in case Peko's wolf lets out a sad howl. Freaking Saika looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. Kaito gathers ammo for his slingshot. Nagito is gone. Rantaro thanks Kaito for being there for him. Genocide Jack is writhing with maggots. Kurukuma sobs quietly. Tengen is gone. Monosuke 
and Monokid are attacked from behind by Nagisa and they both perish. Jotaro lobs his pitchfork at Rantaro, killing him instantly, and Haiji kind of wanders off and gets lost, never to be seen again. Makoto loves the way the rocket launcher feels on his shoulder. Monodam is looking for uh, Monodam's pet turtle is looking for her owner, Celeste. Pet Turtle is doing the same thing! With the flick of the Ancient Scepter, Hakumi turns Masaru into a sheep, and Taka is gone. There's only 14 left, 4 more until your saving grace picks. 13 until we have a winner in the center of the Season 7 bracket, forever immortalized as the winner of the 4,000 subscriber episode. Who will that be? I don't know, but to find out, we gotta give a Claire de Lune 4. Usami. Monodam, Monosuke, Monokid, Rantaro, Haiji. And I will say it was a bad day for the bears, for the bears. They lost Usami, Monodam, <coughs> Monosuke, and Monokid, all four. But speaking of four, we saw four more until you're saving grace picks. I know you want them, I know you need them, I know you feel them in your soul, in the deepest, darkest pits of your well-being. I'm gonna give them to you, after we lose four more people. Do I think that's gonna happen when I click next round? I'd be shocked if it didn't. It will, it will happen. <laughs> it's round five. Mukro's pet wolf lets out a sad howl, armed with her flamethrower, freaking Saika incinerates Gonta to a crisp. Masaru is a sheep and gazes, grazes peacefully. I hope we got a sheep win today. Nagisa and Kaito duel it out, guns drawn, one shot is fired, Nagiso, uh, Nagisa falls over, dead. Which means Ka Kaito, he won something, I'm so proud of him. He's not a luminary of the losers anymore, except immediately afterwards, Taichi and Kaito have a merciless magic duel with their ancient scepters, sparks and bolts fly every which way, until both suddenly bulge out and explode in a puff of acrid smoke. A shame. Gundam's pet wolf lets out a sad howl. Rantaro's pet turtle, looking for her owner. M Makoto practices pulling back his bowstring. Those two are both gone. Jotaro and Kyoko duel it out, guns drawn. Two shots are fired. Kyoko falls over, dead. Jotaro survives. Monokuma is looking out only for himself. Hafumi wonders, ponders, in fact, how best to use his wish ring. Fat Togami creeps up behind Monokuma, shoots him point blank with a shotgun. And then the rest of these folk up until Kurokuma are dead, as Kurokuma just wants it to end already, and Komaru aims her handgun in the distance. We are at your final eight. One of them will be front and center on the season seven finale bracket. But for right now, after this Claire de Lune 4, Gonta, Nagisa, Kaito, Taichi. Kyoko, Monokuma. It's your final eight. And if you're a regular around here, you know what that means. Once we hit your final ten, your, your picks that you made in the comments usually not doing too well. Sometimes they're not doing too hot, or maybe they are doing too well. And at that point, you feel like you need a new pick, you feel like you need another pick. Until I let you make some more picks. And we call those picks your, um, your... Ah, uh, yes, yes. Your saving grace picks. And for Danganronpa 1, we have Makoto and Hifumi and Sayaka as your final three from Danganronpa 1. For Le Bears, there is Kurakuma, the sole survivor for Le Bears. For Ultra Despair Girls, there's Komaru, there's Jotaro, there's Masaru. Three remain from Ultra Despair Girls. For Danganronpa 3, there is not a soul nary remaining. They are completely out. For Danganronpa 2, there is still hope in Fat Togami. There is still hope for Fat Togami. And for V3, the team that was struggling so hard for so long, they still have... Uh... 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 They, they still have nobody. They're, they struggle for so long and everyone is dead. So yes, you know <laughs> which eight you have! <laughs> so... <clears throat> make your saving grace picks below. From the eight that we still have. First, second, and third. 
you know how to do it. Go into the comments. If you didn't leave a comment, leave a comment now. That's fine. You have eight picks, first, second, and third. You have a pretty good shot at least picking the three. Or at least one of the three. So go ahead and make them. Make them right now. I implore you to do so. And while you're doing that, you know, hit the, the like and subscribe. Because well, I know we're at 4,000. But we could, we could hit 5,000. That'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be, be real nice. And, you know, okay, you're just, you're just saying something. You know. <clears throat> so go ahead. Pick them. Pick them right now. I'm going to pick them too. Give me Fat Togami for first. Uh, give me... You know what? Give me Kurakuma for first. Give me Fat Togami for second. And then give me Sayaka for third. Just in case I'm jinxing, I need to pick her to make sure that she gets a little bit of jinx rubbed on it. Just a smidgen. Because that's what we do best. <laughs> so those are mine. And this song is about to end. And you know, in fact, it's, it's a special episode. I was going to play a regular Samurai one, but go ahead and hit the other one. All of these folk who still remain, they know what they're fighting for. A spot in the title match. We're talking Komaru. We're talking Kurakuma. We are talking Fatogami. We are talking Hafumi. We are talking Jotaro. We are talking Makoto. And of course, we are talking Masaru, who is still a sheep. And we are talking Freaking Sayaka. Your final eight. Beating strong with the same pulse, the same rate. Is that of a samurai woman? The final eight. I don't know how fast they're gonna go out. But it might end as I click next round. That's just it's unpredictable like that now. We're gonna click it and we're gonna see he he. At the start of round 6, Ruka is gone. Freaking Sayaka calls Arcane Fury down on the one and only Komaru, the cutest knight of them all. And Komaru grimaces. Smiles wryly. Bubbles violently. And melts into the ground. It is a puddle of Komaru. As Fatogami bludgeons Makoto with his big stick. Gonta and Sakura both perish. So as Leon, Hifumi finds a dapper suit. Jitaro uses his slingshot to pelt Kurakuma with rocks, which is more annoying than anything, really. Celeste is gone. Taka's gone. A lot of people are gone. Kurakuma wants it to end already. Master is a sheep and still doesn't do much. We only lost two. We lost two. And it is a terrible turnabout for those two. Oh, wait, it's the Naegis. <laughs> it's the Naegis. <laughs> Komaru and Makoto. Dang. A horn bearer and the cutest knight of them all, a former champion of champions and a former tag team champion. Few have done it, but Komaru has. <sighs> Which means now we're down to your final six. <clears throat> One of who is a sheep. But we've had sheep wins in this simulator before, and this is a nutty simulator. It could happen. Could be Masaru's day. Could be Kurakuma's day. Could be Hifumi's day. Could be Jitaro's day. Could be Fatogami's day. Could be Sayaka's day. But I will tell you. It's still Samurai Woman time, surprisingly enough. One of them will come out on top. One of them will be front and center. Will it be someone you love? Will it be someone you hate? I don't know. But we gotta see who it will be. At the start of round 7, Mukuro's pet wolf lets out a sad howl. Jitaro finds himself face to face with Fatogami and shoots him dead with his gun. We lost Fatogami. Five remain. Will it be five at the end of this one? Let's scroll down and see. Kaede's wolf lets out a sad howl. Usami, Toko, Teru Teru, Tengen are all gone. Saika wants to use her flamethrower. Taka. Daisaku. Genocide Jack, all gone. Hafumi acts cool in his dapper suit. Masaru is a sheep, wanders off too far, becoming food for the wild beast. Nagisa, Masaru, Nakamaru, Sakura, all gone. Kurakuma does remain. And so, it's your final four Jotaro, Sayaka, Hafumi, and Kurakuma. This is a really surprising final four. Jotaro, who's never won before. Kurakuma, Sayaka, and Hifumi, 
who low-key snatches wins when you least expect him to. So, after this terrible turnabout for Fat Togami, Masaru, you know who's left in this four grand, the final four, Jotaro, Sakura, no, not Sakura, I wish it were Sakura, Sakura is one of my favorites, Sayaka, Hifumi, and Kurakuma, all caught in what we like to call a, um, oh yeah, crises, a crises of, a crises of fate. This is it. The final four. It could all end, but it might not. I wouldn't be surprised though. Let's click next round to see if it does all end. It does not. <coughs> and we have been halted of the repeat victory. We lost. Mikan, Miu, and Ibuki earlier, but Afumi still stares into the distance. Kurukuma sobbing uncontrollably, probably because Mai is out. Freaking Saiko fires a rocket at Kurukuma, who gets absolutely blown to bits. Monica's pet tiger rests on her owner's remains. Sakura's gone. Gozu's gone. Ruka's gone. And with a flick of his magic wand, Jotaro turns Hifumi into a sheep, which means it is a battle between Hifumi the sheep, Jotaro, and freaking Sayaka. Three remaining. But we do have to give a terrible turnabout. Four. Kurakuma. Who almost popped off again. Couldn't have been mad at the boy. But it is now between freaking Sayaka. <sighs> I'm sorry. <I'm clears throat> now there's beef. <laughs> Jotaro for his first win. And Hifumi trying to steal one again. That man is the thief of big episodes. Are you ready? Are you setting? Do you enjoy fettuccine, linguine, spaghetti? I don't know, but it's still a crisis of fate, technically. But I wouldn't be surprised if next round it all ended. Will it? Uh, I don't know, but I think I saw some orange down there. A bunch of folk are gone, but as we scroll down, scroll down, we see Sayaka six her pet turtle on Jotaro. Jotaro gets stomped to bits he never saw coming. Hifumi is a sheep. And he doesn't do much. However, however, this is interesting because after this, after this, after this, after this terrible turnabout, four. Jotaro. Trigger Happy Havoc proves to be the winners. With Sayaka and Hifumi. And so Hifumi becomes unsheepified and I go back to team setup. Yeah, okay, well first let's look at all these KOs. Nagisa had a ton. A ton. Seven. That is incredible. <coughs> Mukuro had six. Saika could get another one and get six as well. Jotaro had four. Kaito with four. I'm gonna take a picture. There's gonna be a screenshot. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. I gotta pause this because it's now a 1v1 duel between Hifumi and freaking Saika as your final two. So give me just one. Okay. It is Sayaka versus Hifumi in a battle for a center spot on the Season 7 bracket. And so I have to ask you guys, 4,000 plus of you guys, who will it be? Will it be Hifumi? Snatching a win, getting to the center, the center of the Season 7 bracket. Or will it be freaking Saika 
after I gave her the beef, after I reinstated the beef, is she trying to come for me? Is she trying to be like, an episode that means a ton to you, it's gonna be mine? Hafumi or Sayaka? Let me know in the comments. Hafumi, Sayaka. Hafumi, Sayaka. Hafumi, Sayaka. We start round one, and it will all probably end at round one, as we see. Freaking Sayaka sicking her pet turtle on Hafumi. Hifumi gets stomped to bits. You never saw it coming. Ah, oh, you can't write this stuff. You can't write it. This is a big episode, of course. Big fight video, of course. Sonic is gonna bring up the last one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, we can we can calm that down. First, let's let's go ahead and do it. Let's give a going. It's, like, oh, hmm. it's a terrible turnabout for Hifumi. And I guess when every weapon, and you know what, let's give her her due. It's a celebration. It's 4,000. Let's give her her due. Let's give her her props. Let's give her her respect. Your winner. <sighs> Representing Don Gon Rampa, Trigger Happy Havoc. With every weapon at her disposal, she was able to come out on top. Freaking Sayaka takes the win. Maybe I read it wrong. No, unfortunately I can read. Put a smile on it. Wow, golly gee, I can't believe that Sayaka won that one. She- oh, I can't keep that up. <laughs> you know what, still, congrats, major, major kudos to her. She, she, she did pop off. She got, what, six KOs with the addition of this one? Nagisa had seven. He did better. He did better than you. You got, you only got six? Mm, whatever. Nagisa, that's my boy. Never forget, Nagisa got seven KOs this match. But we won't take this away from Sayaka. It is because she has intel, because she works for AV's Wares and Despairs. I should have fired her when I had the chance. That's my bad. Take full responsibility for this one. But I know some of you are cheering, celebrating, which is fine because we should be cheering and celebrating because there's 4,000 of us. Yes, yes, that's how we turn this to a positive. You know what? I am just happy that that wheel did not hit. Because you saw how close it was. I would have been all over the place if that wheel hit. And I had to put a championship on freaking Saika. But I'll say it, she's a strong competitor, so she does deserve to be here. In the center front and center of the season 7 finale bracket. There she is. Congratulations to her. Sai has got a shot at the title. She sure does. That's fine. That's okay. You know what? I can say with certainty she earned it. So major kudos to her. Could, would I have preferred somebody else? Yeah. Would I have preferred many other people? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what? It could have been Haiji. And it could have been Tengen. So we'll take this. Silver linings, right? Silver linings. Congratulations, Saika. And congratulations to you guys for... I was gonna say making it all the way, but this wasn't really that long of an episode, even though it was a big one. Because, once again, this episode was nutty. Because everyone had every item. 
And I think that's what made this one really special. And I'm really pleased about it. So, hopefully you enjoyed it too. Stay classy. And thank you. Oh, one more thing. Because I know I didn't say it on Thursday or Friday. The OC submission box is closing real soon. So be sure to enter because the OCs are about to start appearing. And it's going to be a fun time. And you are going to want to miss it. But we, I was going to say, we, we, we have plenty of OCs already. But you can still enter. Don't you worry. Don't you fret. You can get in there. You can get in there. So go ahead and enter if you haven't. That link is in the description. It's also somewhere on the community tab. And it's probably going to be in the pinned comment too because it's getting close to uh, the time where entries close. So make sure to check it out. Until then, stay classy. It's the year of the ascent. And Sayaka ascended today to the top spot. This is fine! And, 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 actually, wait, hold on, stop that. Thanks for 4,000. I know I said it once. I can never stop saying it. Y'all are cool. Y'all are something, y'all are something else. Y'all are something special, because this... This... Is not something that I expected to, to do as well as it does, but it does. So, thank you for that, and thanks for enjoying. Stay classy. Doodling. Flight crew.